uh, explains the use of a uh, Chrome extension called Ynote. Ynote is free, and what it adds to Chrome is the opportunity to take notes or annotate videos while they play uh, within the Chrome browser. So I've already added the extension here, and I assume if you're a Chrome user, you know how to use that. And if you look up here, you'll see the icons for activating various extensions. This is the icon up here, this, this red gear box, I guess I would call it, in the upper right-hand corner. And when you open it, this is what you see. So uh, in this window now, you have an area at the top for adding text, your note. And any notes taken then will show up below. Uh, there's one helpful setting I think you might want to consider. So if you come down here to the very bottom of the Ynote box in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, you'll see the gear icon. And if you click on that, you'll bring up this screen. And under Settings, uh, you'll find this, Pause Video When Editing Note. Now, if you turn that on, uh, what that allows um, is uh, it will stop the video uh, when you click within the text box. And I, I find that very, uh, very helpful. Um, you can also, of course, just click on the video, click to stop the video, but it, but it works uh, nicely to uh, pause the video uh, while you're taking notes. So the, the process is pretty simple. You have uh, the video available to you. You have the uh, Ynote uh, uh, extension activated. Um, by the way, if it's not active, then nothing is happening, obviously. Uh, so videos you watch without it, uh, without it being activated, nothing happens to them. So you, so you, uh, you, know, you, start, the, uh, you start the video. And that's uh, just me talking about something else, not particularly relevant here. And when I now click up in here. A little personal background. Most of my research and writing projects. Uh, I'm sorry, this I had to cancel. And that, uh, as you can see, it stopped, stopped the video. That's the way it's supposed to work. Uh, if you fool around and uh, do things in the box and then erase them. Obviously, uh, it, it, it thinks you're still uh, doing something and it, it, and it lets the video play. But anyway, <clears throat> it should work like that. Uh, and uh, so now I can enter text. Okay, and uh, now I save it. Oops, keep bringing up there. I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, so um, you can see the video has been recorded, um, and this is the just the first uh, few uh, words from my annotation. This uh, little icon here, of course, the uh, you know the, the the play icon is important because what it will do. Uh, if you've taken several notes, is it, it, it will return you to the location where you took this particular note. So once you have a whole bunch of notes uh, kind of stored there, you probably want to come back, or you may want to come back and look at a particular note, and this will return you to that to that uh, exact location. So let me uh, play a little bit more. Let's just move it ahead a bit. This guy just goes on and on. Make connections possible. This means learners must think of or recognize the relevant existing documents. All right, so uh, uh, new learning builds on what you know. Save. All right, so. 
you would go through and accumulate notes in, in this fashion. Now, um, you know, it's just that process over and over again. And here's where I think it gets interesting and where Ynote differentiates itself from, uh, from other kinds of, uh, uh, I call these layering applications that uh, allow annotation of videos. If you come up here, what it's going to do is take you to this page um, that basically uh, allows access to your notes. So um, what you get is a screen capture. Uh, you, you know, at the precise time you uh, you uh, stopped to uh, to take a note, you have the note there, and you have the timestamp. Now, timestamp is useful in, 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 let's say you're looking at this and you don't quite understand what it means. You click on this timestamp, uh, for example, 17 seconds here, and it'll take you back to the video again. It will reload the video, actually, and uh, it will start playing at 17 seconds. Now, you know, all of these notes, uh, the time at which you take the note is after you've heard the important stuff. So this doesn't actually probably uh, <clears throat> provide the information you want, but at least you, it gets you to the place within that video uh, that's in close proximity to the information that led to you taking that note. And at that point, uh, you would just scroll back, um, you know, through th through the original video using using the slider at the bottom uh, to maybe listen again. So you have this page uh, of notes. Now here is the interesting thing I think that uh, uh, is unique. If you see across the top here, you'll see that you can store this content. And you can store it here as a PDF, and uh, here is Evernote, and uh, here is Google Docs, uh, you know, and uh, this is OneNote for... Uh, um, maybe those folks who like Microsoft products, etc. So you then save out this collection of notes and you have that to study. Um, so this is, you might think of as a replacement <clears throat> perhaps for your notebook. It's got these pictures uh, which if someone was literally lecturing, lecturing to you, let's say it's a recorded uh, PowerPoint presentation, you could actually see then what you would see in class perhaps if you were listening to a lecture, what was on the screen. And you could see your notes. And you also have this kind of magic link. So if I save this out as a PDF, which is the way I've used this tool, I have now the PDF that I could share with you or um, obviously I could store for my own personal use. And that timestamp in this PDF, those timestamps in this PDF uh, would still be active. In other words, I could go back and if I clicked on that timestamp from the PDF, it would open up a browser again and take me back to that location in that stored video if that if the address for that stored video was still good so you know in this case of course this is a youtube video the youtube video is still there and it would take you back right to that location in that youtube video so i think that's a very interesting feature um i have uh you know done tutorials on other uh video based uh annotation systems and uh that feature for learners I think uh, kind of puts this particular product ahead of others. So if you have a, a set of material that you've received, um, you know, for a class and you've taken notes on the set of material and then at some point you want to review your notes, that opportunity to look at your notes and uh, when you find something that you now find to be puzzling to be able to get back to the original source so you could listen to that segment of lecture again, I think uh, it is quite unique. So, Ynote, a free Chrome extension, and its purpose is the, uh, the annotation of online videos and the storage of content generated from that annotation process uh, for later use.